Hey there, my name is Ryan. Today I'm going to show you how to use Gaia GPS, a mapping tool, to plan a hiking trip. We'll start on the website, GaiaGPS.com, and mark out a route that I'll later be able to follow inside the Gaia GPS smartphone app. I'll be adding some waypoints to mark specific locations. We'll use the routing tool to connect multiple trails I wish to travel on. I'll do some scouting, viewing additional map layers, and we'll render these map layers in three dimensions to get a better sense of my terrain. Let's get started in the search bar. I'll type in my destination, the White Mountain National Forest in New Hampshire. You'll see the map centers directly on your search results. To zoom in and out, we'll use the plus or minus button in the bottom right corner or a two finger scroll on your trackpad. To move the map around, click, hold, drag, and release. Ah, this is looking familiar. This is where I plan to hike in the Northern Presidentials. I've got a reservation booked at the Madison Spring Hut and I'm interested in hiking up to the top of Mount Madison. I'll go ahead and mark those locations now. Click the Create Waypoint button. Click, hold, drag, and release the waypoint to reposition it. I'll give it a name and press Save. And I'll add another point for Mount Madison. can change the icon, press save. Okay, that looks good. I also like to mark my starting location. I'll be traveling from the west along Route 2, and here is the trailhead, Appalachia. So we'll add one more waypoint. Save. Perfect. Now that I've got those points located, I want to connect some of these existing trails with a route from the start over Madison and down to the hut. To do that, I'll use the Create Route tool. We'll give our route a name. And note here that the routing mode is automatically set to hiking. This is great. This will allow us to snap the path directly to any trail that's mapped on the Gaia Topo map. There are some other modes if your needs vary. Let's start drawing this route by clicking once to drop a point. I can still move the map around. And I want to head up here to this intersection. So I'll click once and you'll see that the trail, or I'm sorry, the route automatically snaps to existing trails. That's great. From this junction, I'll take the Valleyway Trail. Oh, I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to click on this delete the point and start over. Here we go. You'll see that the distance is increasing as I plot this route as of the ascent and we get a nice elevation profile here. Um, so you can see your location and elevation at the same time. All right, let's finish this route up. Here we go up to the top of Madison and down to the hut. All right, I'm gonna press save. And that's looking like a great hike. If I get up here midday, or a little bit earlier than I expected, I might wanna do some additional hiking. So let's scout the area by adding some map layers. 
over here on the left. We'll click View Map Layers. And I'm going to throw on top this satellite imagery layer so we can get a good sense of the terrain. Using the opacity slider to adjust the transparency, I'll make this completely opaque and zoom in. Okay, so it looks like a lot of Mount Madison will be above tree line in that dark rock area. Um, this looks neat, this lake here. It'd be cool if I could hike out to that lake and maybe up and over Mount Adams, which I think is over here. Let's see this in 3D. We'll click the 3D button. To reposition the map in three dimensions, I'll hold down the control key and click and drag. Okay, cool. So I can see that the hut now is nestled between Mount Madison and Mount Adams. And I think it would be neat to plan another little extension to our hike here. Let's see the trails below the satellite view. Oh, perfect. There's a trail that goes up to the top of Mount Adams. So I'm going to add that to my planned route. I'll click on the blue route, click edit, and let's continue adding to this plan. All right, I'm going to toggle off back to 2D here and just finish this up. Click Save. Sweet. So there's my hike. I can see that it's close to five and a half miles, a lot of elevation gain over the course of the day. Um, but having done this ahead of time, I have a good sense of, of where I'll be at each trail junction. And if I log into the app with the same account, I'll be able to see this route and these waypoints and my current location all at once. For more help on getting started, please visit the Gaia GPS Help Center at help.gaiagps.com.